very important news of Himachal Pradesh in one go. Moving ahead to the first news of today's bulletin. Schools will remain closed for students till 30th August. Orders issued. All schools in Himachal Pradesh will remain now closed till August 30. In view of the increasing cases of Corona, the government has decided to keep the schools closed till 22nd August in cabinet meeting. But under the new orders issued on Friday, now the schools will remain closed till August 28th. At the same time, 29th and 30th are the government holidays. In such a situation, schools will remain closed till August 30. However, it will be mandatory for all teachers and non-teachers to attend schools regularly except on government holidays. Moving ahead to the next news of today's bulletin. While doing illegal mining in Mandi, two people were buried. One died. Two persons were buried under the rebel due to the cracking of sand mine hit at Firnu on the side of Rampur Road in Karsaw, subdivision of Mandi district of Himachal Pradesh late in the night, in which one person has died while other is severely injured. The injured have been admitted to IGMC Shimla for treatment. It is being told that this accident happened due to illegal mining when sand was being removed from hill late in the night. Suddenly the sand hill cracked and two persons were hit by it in which one person lost his life while other person is seriously injured. Moving ahead towards the next news in today's bulletin, Anurag Thakur said, I will work hard for the recognition of the art and culture of Himachal Pradesh on the world stage. Union Minister of Youth Services and Sports and Information Broadcasting Anurag Thakur has said that it is my priority to make the art and culture of Himachal Pradesh to be recognized on the world stage during the next 10 years. Addressing the journalist at Hotel Peter of Shimla, Anurag Thakur said that art and culture of Himachal has its own preference and importance. Anurag Thakur said that the state will be indebted to Prime Minister Narendra Modi for the trust shown for him. Prime Minister Modi gave three budgets during Covid crisis, which is historic. He said that vocal for local is a big campaign. In this, we have to promote all the local goods and culture of Himachal. There is sweetness in the music of Himachal, which is popular in the whole country. We have to promote our culture. We will not allow this heritage of ours to disappear. It is our resolve to take it to the whole world. Moving ahead in today's Britain, after mustard oil in Russian depot, now preparation to reduce the price of refined. After reducing the price of urad chana dal and mustard oil in cheap Russian shops in Himachal Pradesh, now the rates of refined can also come down. Refined prices may come down by rupees 5 to 10 per liter. Last June, consumers were given a refund of rupees 109. In July and August, only mustard oil was given. The Food Supply Corporation had sought applications from the companies regarding the tender for refined. Five companies have applied. On Monday, the technical bids will be open in the corporation office. Refined is available in the market for rupees 160 to 170 per liter. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin, ATR 42 flight will start in Shimla before winter tourist season. ATR 42 flight will start before the winter tourist season this year in Shimla. The Queen of the Hills. The central government is going to return to the old system on the delay in the expansion of Jawalhatti Airport. These days, the procurement process of 42-seater aircraft is going on at the ministry level. It is likely that by November or December 2021, the service of ATR-42 from Delhi to Shimla will start. The 72-seater plane have to wait longer for the 72-seater plane to land at Shimla's Jawalhatti Airport. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin, Anurag Thakur power shown through Janashwadi. After becoming the Union Minister of Youth Services and Sports and Information Broadcasting, Anurag Thakur has come for the first time to seek blessings of the people of Himachal Pradesh. Anurag Thakur's five-day Jan Ashurvad Yatra has started with a show of strength from Chandigarh to Shimla. Not only the Gumal Anurag supporters, but the Jainam camp is also excited in different way. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin, which is related to medical services in the state. Kidney transplant will start again after about two years between Corona at Indra Gandhi Medical College. Kidney transplant will start again after about two years between Corona at Indra Gandhi Medical College. On August 23, kidney transplant of two patients will be done here. IGMC management has started preparations for the transplant. Dr. Dalip Gupta, who is taking over as the acting principal, has confirmed the kidney transplant. On the other hand, the kidney transplants will be done on Monday, 
for both the youths below 35 years of age living in the Barmore of Chamba and Nirmand in Kullu. It has been told that the father of both the youth will give them their kidneys. This transplant will be done by Ames Delhi surgeon Dr. VK Bansal and his team. On Saturday night, three Ames surgeons and one anesthesiologist will reach Shimla. The first transplant will be started at 8 a.m. on Monday. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin, Kuldeep Singh Rathor said Congress will remove inactive office bearers after the by-elections. In Himachal Pradesh, the inactive office bearers of Congress will be removed from the post after the by-elections of Fatehpur, Arki and Jubbal Kothaki Assembly, including Monday parliamentary seat. Talking to the media at Congress headquarters Rajiv Bhavan Shimla on Tuesday, State President Kuldeep Singh Rathor said that the appointments will be given to those who are loyal to the organization. After the dissolution of executive committee of Bilaspur district, now the work of the other districts, blocks and state officials will be reviewed. Moving ahead towards next news in today's bulletin, a car rolled near Changu on National Highway 5. A car has crashed near Changu on National Highway 5 in Himachal Pradesh, Kinnor district. In the accident, a resident of Congo in the vehicle died on the spot. The driver and women are injured. The injured have been sent to Changu Hospital for treatment. As soon as the information was received, the team of Kinnor police reached the spot and started the investigation into the matter. Cases of landslide are coming to the fore in the district. A landslide occurred once again on Thursday on the Gunsa Hills of Badesari in Sangla, a major tourist destination. Soldiers in four vehicles of Indo-Tibetan Border Police Force IDBP coming from Chitkul to Sangla escaped unhurt when they were hit by the stones during landslide. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin. Outsourced personnel from Medical College Nahan to Jammu Kashmir. A worker serving as an outsourced data entry operator at Medical College Nahan in Himachal Pradesh, Shirmar district has been transferred to Jammu Kashmir. This is the first case of transfer of an outsourced worker in the state. Naveen Thakur, who took a monthly salary of only 9,000 rupees, received the orders of the outsourced company on August 18, which was approved by the Medical College Administration on August 14 itself. Moving ahead to the next news which is related to the help given to the BPL girls. BPL girls start getting shagun of marriage, scheme running in six districts of Himachal. The government has started giving shagun for the marriage of girls above 18 years of age from BPL families. The government have announced shagun scheme in the budget. The benefit of this has started to going to the girls of BPL families. Under the scheme, the government gives them shagun of 31,000 rupees for the marriage of girls. In the initial phase, the government has started the scheme in six districts of Himachal Pradesh. So far, 31,000 rupees have been given to 207 girls. The government has given an amount of 64,17,000 on this. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin, Union Minister Anurag Thakur received a grand welcome from Parvanu to Shimla. After becoming a Union Minister, Anurag Thakur reached Himachal for the first time on Thursday. He received a warm welcome from Himachal Brahman, Chandigarh to Shimla. In Shimla, Chief Minister Jairam Thakur welcomed him outside the state guest house, Peterhof, Shimla. Anurag Thakur has reached Himachal to participate in 630 km long Chan Ashwad Yatra, which will run in the four lower house constituencies of the BJP. The Union Minister was warmly received by the BJP workers at Parvanu, the gateway of Himachal. A large number of people stood waiting for Anurag Thakur before reaching Parvanu. Moving ahead towards the next news, which tell about the corona status in Himachal Pradesh. One infected died in Himachal, 247 new cases. Another corona positive patient died in Himachal on Thursday. A 71-year-old infected elderly man of Monday district succumbed to his injuries. On the other hand, 247 new cases of corona has come in the state in last 24 hours. Whereas 366 patients have been cured in the state in last 24 hours. Now the total number of corona infected in the state has reached 2,11,277. Of these, 2,5047 infected have been cured. Active cases have gone up to 2,663. So far, 3,543 infected people have died. During the last 24 hours, 15,619 samples were taken for the investigation of Corona. Moving to the next news in today's bulletin. Heavy rain alert in Himachal Pradesh for two days. Flood threat in five districts. Heavy rain alert has been issued in Himachal Pradesh for two days. According to the bulletin issued by the Meteorological Center Shimla on Friday, there is a possibility of heavy rain on August 20 and 21 in the plains and the central parts of the state. Yellow alert has been issued in these parts till August 23. The weather is forecasted to remain bad across the state till August 26. 
Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin. Exams will be held in 56 centers and mid card will be issued to 16,000 candidates. Marshall Pradesh University will conduct BA entrance exam on 21st August in 56 centers established in the state. The admit cards of 16,091 candidates have been issued online for the examination. These are the candidates who have submitted their online examination form till the last date and submitted the prescribed fees. Controller of the examination Dr. J.S. Negi said that the admit cards of the candidates are available on the university admission portal. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin. Within 10 days, everyone will get the first dose of COVID vaccine. In Himachal Pradesh, within 10 days, all people of the age group of 18 years and above will get the first dose of Corona vaccine. 29% of the people in the state have taken the second dose of the COVID vaccine, while the vaccination of all people will be completed by November 2021. Chief Minister Jairam Dhabu said this amidst the increase in cases of Corona. He also indicated to increase the restriction in case of cases do not decrease. Moving to the last news of today's bulletin, Agriculture University Convocation will be held on 23rd August. The 16th Convocation will be held on August 23 at Agriculture University Palampur. The Governor and the Chancellor of the University has given their consent for the Convocation. Vice Chancellor Professor H.K. Chaudhary said that the Convocation Ceremony will be held on August 23 in the Agriculture University. Chief Minister Jairam Thakur will be the Chief Guest in this. Former Chief Minister Shanta Kumar will be the special guest of honor. Vipin Singh Parmar, Speaker of the Himachal Pradesh Legislative Assembly, Panchayati Raj Minister Virendra Kumar will be the special guest. Out of 393 degree holders, 262 graduates of the four constituent colleges will be awarded graduation degrees in this ceremony. So that's it for today's bulletin, guys. We will meet you again tomorrow. Till then, take care, stay safe, be happy. Bye-bye.